What a phenomenal night of boxing we saw last night. As Lawrence Acoli defeats, I'm going to go for it here, Christoph Gravaski to become the WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World. I really enjoyed uh, the whole card of boxing yesterday. Some fantastic bloody fights. Uh, Brad Rear starting off round one. Gets stopped, knocks him down three times. His opponent, you know, it was a great night for Shane McGuigan. Some, yeah, Anthony Fowler winning three rounds. Dominant display as well. You can see how passionate he was after it. He's been out in the ring for some while. He looks phenomenal. But yeah, this video is just going to be mainly talking about the main event as uh, I want to cover the Lawrence Acoli win. You know, it's he did it in phenomenal fashion, to be honest. He boxed fantastically. Uh, he won the first five rounds dominantly and then finished him in the six brilliant display he has such an awkward style that it's hard to it's hard to win a round against him from what i've seen you know i don't think anyone's come close to beating him he sort of like he's so long for for a cru cruiserweight he's like is he like six two six three he's got a massive reach and he can sort of like lean back and just jab you all day long but then he's got that explosive right hand that he can deliver out of nowhere as well Lawrence Acoli is someone that I've actually watched for ages without realising too much. I got into boxing maybe about three or four years ago, just when Joshua was proper on the rising through the ranks and that. And he, I remember Lawrence Acoli being a lot, on a lot of the Joshua undercards. And he was known for being a bit boring. I think he was... Was he under... He had a different trainer and switched to Shane McGuigan. I'm not sure if he was under... Dave Colt, now it might have been Anthony Fowler, I'm not about there, but my bad for that. But anyway, basically, he was known for being a bit boring. He'd grab his opponents. I remember seeing, I've only seen a couple of his fights back then. And I was like, that was one of the worst fights I've ever seen. Just grabbing, you know, just getting the job done. And then I must have seen him for a while. And I watched the fight back in December and it absolutely demolished the opponent. And I was like saying, now you look at his record, he's got like 13 knockout wins in 16 fights. So he clearly is... <laughs> A very capable knockout artist. He's got very explosive power. But yeah, it's a great story. 20 years of age. He was just at McDonald's and that. Watched the Olympics. Saw Usain Bolt lift gold. Saw Anthony Joshua do so well. And then thought, right, I'm going to start boxing. Apparently he was bullied as a kid as well. I said a joke. Uh, watching the show with my dad. And I just jokingly went, bet he didn't get bullied in school. What a bloody big bugger he is. He built us out. And then he, he was tell, telling us after the fight how we were bullied in school. I couldn't believe it. But yeah, he seems such a likable character. A lot of I, I bet it sounds like he's a bit tall, like some people are maybe doubting him a bit and that, or some people don't like him. I think he's great, you know, even after he won it, he's just stood there. I'm actually world champion right now. I like couldn't believe it. He's like going, Yes, and new, just such a lovable character. He had his own little song he was coming out to, uh, rapping in Dubai and that. Uh, yeah, I just think I think he's great. It was a great performance. He was just jabbed fantastic jab for the first five rounds then just getting him in the right sort of a lot of body shots with the right then banging the six you could see the body shots he got very tired as it went on now what's his name again christoph Grukowski. i'm very sorry oh I'm very sorry i've got that wrong but uh yeah um he seemed to like tight i think he, that was his first fight in 21 months and he did have covid as well he's turning 35 soon so Maybe not got much left in the boxing world, but you never know. There's no real age box. Look at Povetkin, he's still rocking. Rocking, but uh, yeah, it looked like the body shots wore him down. He seemed to tire and then bang. Yeah, he just didn't have enough in him to get up after that first knockdown, first and only knockdown of the fight as it ended the fight. But yeah, Lawrence Acoli, the plan is for him. He's got a very bright future. So unify the, unify the cruiserweight division and move up to heavyweight. Some great fights could have at heavyweight. And he's someone you don't know how far he can go, really. There's, I couldn't really tell you where he fits in the heavyweight division. I mean, he's very impressive last night, but it's really hard to tell him until he gets into that heavyweight division. You've got, you know, Alex, Alexander Yuzik's just moved up now. He had that great win over Jezora, winning eight out of the 12 rounds. A unanimous victory, you know. Showing cruiserweights. David A was a cruiserweight and moved up fine and that. Would have been a great fight for the cruiserweight division. Yusik, Akoli. I couldn't call. I want to probably lean towards you. I just think he's so technically good. But I will never rule out Lawrence Akoli. But yeah, I do see him getting in that heavyweight division. Maybe at heavyweight level we could see Yusik, Akoli. 
it looks like Fury Joshua will be two fights. I can see it like dragging on a while, maybe like one fight later this year, maybe a fight later next year. So they might be just together for a while. Well, Akoli, I don't know when he's going to unify the belts. It might be another couple of years in the cruiserweight division before he moves up, and then you can get him maybe against Daniel Dubois, Joe Joyce's and stuff. But uh, really enjoyed it. Jumped up, you know, great to see him win. Do it so well. Fantastic performance. Shane McGuigan had a great night. All three of his fighters win. He seems to whew, he seems to get the best out of fighters in. Phenomenal stuff, you know, all of them celebrating together. Great night of boxing, great story, great fighter. Onwards and upwards for Lawrence Acoli, lad. See you later. If you're new, subscribe and that. I've not, uh, I think it's not my first video in like a month or summer. If you want to see me more regularly talk about stuff, leave a comment. Have a good one. Goodbye.